mayor of Washington, D.C. I am um, with the police chief, Peter Newsham, and police leadership. I am also joined by council member for Ward 7, Vincent Gray, and council member for Ward 8, uh, Trey on White. Uh, we are here to announce the arrest, an arrest um, for the person suspected of killing Karan Brown. Uh, we were here just a couple of nights ago in the 2700 block of Naylor Road. In just a moment, Chief Newsham will provide you uh, details of the, re of the arrest and what we know about the case uh, so far. I want to thank um, all of the members of the community that have reached out, who've spoken out, who have shared tips, who have shared their outrage and put their outrage uh, into action. Your calls, texts, and tips are invaluable in helping hold this perpetrator accountable. Karan was killed uh, almost one year uh, to the day after Micaiah Wilson was shot and killed on her way to an ice cream truck. Karan was apparently going to the McDonald's. So before I turn it over to the chief, I want to once again send uh, the very clear message to the community that guns do indeed kill people. Uh, guns in the hands of the wrong people are deadly and make our neighborhoods unsafe. We cannot wait for another child to fall victim to senseless gun violence. I'm calling on everyone in the District of Columbia who knows of anyone who has an illegal gun or someone you know shouldn't be having a gun. If you're scared of somebody that you know in your neighborhood, community, or in your home that has a gun, please reach out to us for help. People who would be so brazen and callous have no regard for human life and no regard for the innocence of childhood cannot be allowed to carry a gun in our streets. I'm asking everyone to call us you may call our or text us anonymously at 50411 or call the tip line at 202-727-9099. With that, I'm gonna ask Chief Newsham uh, to provide more details and then we'll take your questions. <clears throat> All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, following two days of diligent work on behalf of the homicide team at the Metropolitan Police Department, uh, we're here to announce that today uh, we've made an arrest in the senseless murder uh, of an 11 year old boy, Karan Brown. Uh, you heard from the mayor already uh, that on Thursday, July 18th, just before 7 p.m., officers from the 7th District responded right here to the 2700 block of Naylor Road uh, for the report of the sounds of gunshots. During their investigation, MBD was notified that a juvenile male was suffering from a gunshot wound and the boy had been taken to Prince George's County Fire Department Fire Station. Uh, the victim was then transported to a local hospital by the Prince George's County Fire and EMS for treatment, uh, but unfortunately all life-saving life efforts failed uh, and the little boy was pronounced dead. Uh, the little boy, as I said earlier, was identified as Karan Brown, who lived here in this community uh, in southeast Washington, D.C., uh, and I want to extend my sincere condolences uh, to his family and friends. Uh, the mayor said this already. Uh, there is absolutely no reason in the world uh, why we should be burying a, a, an 11-year-old boy uh, because some adult felt like it was okay to uh, discharge a firearm in our community. Uh, today, uh, the detectives, like I said, have been working diligently since this case occurred. Uh, they were able to secure an arrest warrant earlier today. Uh, and then earlier this afternoon, the Capital Area Regional Fugitive Task Force located 29-year-old Tony Antoine McClam of Southeast D.C. They located him in the 3000 block of 14th Street Northwest, uh, and he was taken into custody without incident. Uh, Mr. McClam was transported to the homicide branch where he was charged with second-degree murder while armed uh, for his role in the murder of Karan. Uh, this case was brought to closure by Detective Gus Gynaculius, and other members of the homicide unit. Uh, I want to thank the homicide detectives. Uh, I really also want to point out uh, that the images that we got uh, from video in the area were instrumental uh, in assisting us to bring this case to closure. 
Uh, for those of you who have not taken advantage of the mayor's rebate program for a camera, please do so. Uh, we hopefully will not have to stand up here again uh, when a child is, is killed in the District of Columbia. But I can't tell you how valuable uh, that type of evidence is for us at the Metropolitan Police Department uh, to bring closure when these, these tragedies do occur. Uh, we can take any questions that you all might have. Do you know anything about a motive? I'm sorry. Do you know anything about a motive? Uh, we do not have a motive at this point. And uh, you know, that's the other thing that I will mention is we're going to continue to investigate this case. Uh, so I don't want people who are listening or following this, uh, if they do have information, please give us a call. You can call us on 202-727-9099 or you can text us on 50411. Right now, and this information is preliminary, we believe that the suspect in this case was shooting into a vehicle uh, and the little boy was in the vehicle. So it's, it's unclear whether or not he was the attendant. See, it seems hard to believe that an 11 year old would be. All right, thank you all. We now return to our previously scheduled program, already in progress.